Well, I I didn't anticipate we would ever come to these situations, and uh, now we have to. Well, let's, uh... So if we then go to the to to the first key objectives. Um, so what what are Charlton's? Um, Okay. Uh, well, for sure, improved technology. It's not working. We have got a good reputation for our academy, but I think one of our problems has been that we, we've had to sell too early because we've been under financial pressure. And I think one of the key things which hopefully Roland's financial stability will bring us is that if we've got a good player, we will hold on to him. But I think what I will be really looking forward to is not being in a position where we have to sell our assets before they have realized either their full potential playing for us or their full potential in the transfer market. Well, Diego, first of all, welcome to West Ham United. How excited are you to have completed your transfer here? Oh, I'm very happy. Joe, a warm welcome to Liverpool FC. Can you tell us how it feels to have joined the club? Nice. It's a dream come true, really. So game far. life. Yes, yes, yes. Very comfortable. And here comes the big reveal. If you don't believe me, there is the fan sofa. Uh, so we will do a competition, actually. So the, the idea is that... Um, that fans uh, in the crowd will film fans in the crowd, there will be a song will be played and the one who dances the most or is the most expressive right. will win a, a seat on the sofa and I intend to really participate at that one as well. You want to show us a quick dance now? <laughs> uh, if we promote the Premier League. <laughs> There's a real lack of communication from the club and some of the stuff that's come out has not been positive and has not been the sort of thing that wins fans over. Uh, fans don't see themselves as customers. I think it's quite funny because they say they pay, obviously the ticketing system is one third of our revenue stream, um, but they, they go to the restaurants with their family every week and they go to the cinema, but if they're not satisfied with the, with the product, will they go and scream to the people in charge of it? No, they don't, but they do it with a football club and that's very weird because they feel a sense of ownership of a football club. Part of the problem seems to be the number of changes in manager since the Belgian took over in January 2014. Have you guys been heading it off? Well, in fact, it was not, uh, not a very easy situation. The team were in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, but in the background it was almost, well, once this run ends, I'll be leaving. We lost to Sheffield United, I left the next day. It's been a tough week for everyone involved with the Charlton Athletic. Following defeat to Sheffield United in the FA Cup, Chris Powell was relieved of his duties as the manager of the club by owner Roland Du Chatelet. Riga came in. The team stayed up. They're always going to stay up. The welcome was great. And I think that in two days, uh, we do a good job. But it's only a first step, of course. And Riga left. Bob Peters came in from Belgium. He's managed one of his teams before. He left. Talking of players you want to bring in, have you identified targets and uh, positions that need strengthening? Yeah, I think we need to, to look for something up front, that's the most important thing. Also uh, uh, wingers, midfielders and, and in the back of the defence. Guy Luzon is in talks with Chanton about becoming their new manager. He has been the favourite ever since the position became available on Sunday. As soon as we went live with the sacking of uh, Bob Peters, within an hour I had uh, 20 applications already. Guy, welcome to Charlton, welcome to English football. What attracted you to this job? Uh, I think, I mean, what makes him the right one is he's proven that he can remain his calmness and, and be very uh, good at his job. Uh, Luzon came in. He left. Cal, you've been here for a few days now. There's a quite a positive buzz coming from the players this week. How, how have you settled back into the club? As you know, I'm Belgian. It seems excessive by any standards to go through five managers in two years. Yeah, but uh, nevertheless, they prove to be right, the right decision every time. Have they? Because okay. we improved all, always our, 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 our ranking and our results. We are talking about Charlton Athletic. The club are struggling in the championship. Jose Riga is the sixth head coach to take charge of the club in the last two years. A lot of things to do for sure. <laughs> and 
you remember the first experience with the team was not a good one for sure. Tonight is the end result of, uh, unfortunately, us not being good enough over the, over the stretch of games and you know, got what we deserve tonight because we've come here needing to win and we haven't, we haven't managed it, haven't done enough to do it, so got what we deserve. I want to, to congratulate Burnley. It's a very good example of, of stability and what stability can bring. I decide not to stay. <clears throat> I think you know the answer. If, if I if I tell you today that I I decide not to to stay, I think there are good reasons for. How can you explain the two years almost that you've been here, the five managers, and what appears to be the supporters it appears to be failure? Why should we buy into that? I think uh, if you're mistaken that we're not failing, to be, just to give you the facts is when we took over the club was fighting relegation. We're improving gradually every year or ranking uh, in, the, in the league. Well we are talking about Charlton Athletic. The club are struggling in the championship and there's a growing movement by a section of fans who want the current owner to sell up and leave. Now a number of protests have been staged at matches with more planned in the near future. And, uh, what is also a very important uh, strength of the club is uh, the fan base. something of a funereal atmosphere. Fire, 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 fire. 